Mm. Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 30 of the last day. Yay. Of the September Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button and subscribe button. Join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, what the... What is going on? Now. What? Now. I don't know what Lico is doing. Like, what, 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 what? Like, what's the point? I don't know. It's very weird. In any case, uh, I, I just came back from running five miles, but also I just didn't sleep that well, so I'm a little bit tired, and I am ready to at least lie down, if not sleep. Uh, so let's take a look at today's farm, the last day of the month. Let's go, 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 go. 22, 21, find triangular sum of an array. You do, 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 do. You, you have a uh, num sub i is a digit between 0 and 9. Triangle sum is do 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 do. Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, given the n is a thousand, you know, uh, we can just simulate it, right? So we'll do, we could do it that way. But one thing to kind of um, also, you can, I mean, this thing comes up in other places, so it's kind of interesting, is, you know, just, just think of this as a reverse. Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 a reverse Pascal triangle is what I was going to say, right? Uh, and that's really it. I don't really have much to say. <sighs> um, let me draw it out real quick for you. Um, and the way that you could do it is technically. Um, Oh, and this mod, I was going to say it gets big, but given mod 10, I guess it is a little bit better. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm just pulling this thing up. Where did my finger go? Oh, I had it earlier. Oh, no, there it is. But yeah, the idea here is that one thing that you could play around with, and it may not be actually be that important for this problem, but this is a relatively easy problem. It is a easy problem, right? I, don't, I mean, it's a medium, but given n is a thousand, you could do n square. n square is fast, so it's not gonna, I'm not going to worry about it, right? But yeah, but basically you have this thing that is controlled by these two things. So, you know... Um, is, yeah, uh, how do I write this? Let's just say, you know, uh, oh, maybe we could write the other way, right? I mean, I guess the other way is not backwards, though, but I think maybe it's a cleaner explanation. Let's say you have just five numbers, right? Then now you have A plus B, B plus C, C plus D, D plus E, right? And then now, again, then it's going to be A plus B, uh, 2B plus C. Note the one two one pattern, right? Uh, and yeah, uh, B plus two C plus D, uh, right? I think that, uh, and you could kind of write it out, obviously, right? And then the idea here is that okay, for each num number on top, how much contribution do we have at to the at the answer, right? Well, for A, it's going to be one, right? Because it's only going to be in the first cell, and then B. You can just think about it as like one, 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 right? Uh, uh, you know, let's just say we one, one, uh, and then this is two, uh, one, right? And, and then now you have three, uh, and then one maybe, and then now four, right? Is that right? Hmm. Right? Yeah, I mean, I think that's right. <clears throat> and then you see that this is 4, so it's 1, 4. And then this is going to be 6, 4, 1, right? And if you kind of look at it that way, this is, of course, the magic Pascal's triangle, uh, right? And then you can kind of do math that way, right? Um, yeah, but the, the, the thing, of course, is that constructing this answer, I mean, you can also, there, there's a couple of definitions for it. There's the uh, and or uh, C choose R? No. N choose R? 
and choose our uh, representation to get each of these numbers. But of course, uh, that could that also is very complicated, right, in terms of um, complexity. So maybe that's not the best. But in any case, I just want to show you like there are other ideas to do it, and feel free to explore it if you like. But but for me, let's just kind of you know, let's just construct this, right? So you can maybe say, uh, I don't know, kern is equal to nums, make a copy, right? And then while length of kern is greater than one. And basically just do what they tell you, right? Um, yeah. Uh, next is equal to do, 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 right? For x, y in uh, zip, just adjacent elements, we can do, 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 right? I mean, and you could write this in other ways, but. I am just going to write it this way. And then that's it. And then just return, you know, if it has one cell, make sure that it has at least one number and it should be okay. Right? You could write this pretty quickly. Uh, as you saw, uh, did they change some UI thing, something? I don't know. It's very weird. But yeah, uh, I am a little bit tired. I'm a little bit lazy today, so I'm going to call it a day. But uh, yeah, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. I mean, this is. I don't even know if there's anything to say about this. This is just doing what they tell you, right? So I don't really, you know. I mean, you could look at it this way, but you could also look at it just two adjacent numbers and then you just put it one one um, one cell at a time or one number at a time. And you could do that with a Q or like this. I mean, I did it. Eh, this is kind of like a Q. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, I don't know. I'm not feeling well today. I, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just not sleeping or eating enough. Either way, though, so I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, do good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.